強弱をつけてねこう面白くないというかあの美しくないというかですねやっぱり影の存在だったり、まあ、それがこうきちんとさまざまなところで共鳴していくような作り目指しています。こちらが母屋で,であちらに建っている小さい建物がピアノロなんですけど。よく弾ける要は音楽堂として、えー、とデザインとしても、まあ、音響としてもどういうことができるのかクジラの骨の体内の骨の中というかそんな、えー、とイメージをしながらですねこういう骨組みを出すことによって音の乱反射を防ぐという効果も見せながら。まあ、音響的にもいい効果が出てくれてるかなと思いますしね、まあ、その音楽をやるっていうのはただね音を出すだけじゃなくていろんなこうイマジネーションとかインスピレーションをこう豊かに持っていかないといけないのでそういう意味でこう洗練された空間づくりっていうのを、まあ、可能な限りねあのお願いしたんですけど、まあ、刺激されるっていうか建物からもねすごく刺激があるような空間を作ってもらったのでそれは感謝してますけどはい。この住宅をデザインするについてですねやはり私自身がやっぱりここの場所のカルチャーをよく理解しているというか、まあ、体感して生きてきているので触れて目で見るだけで少し心が和むというかですねそういう感覚になってくれるのかなというところで木はよく対応しますあとはそのやはり建築ってその場所に立つもんですからその場所のその特質、まあ、要はカルチャーだったり東側はあのやはりこういうふうに景観がいいもんですから景観がいい方に向かって全体的に大きく開いているという構成になってますなので、えーとまあ、あの家族からもですね、えー、この景色をどこからでも楽しめるようにしてほしいというふうにあの要,要望があったもんですから。僕は今回はいろんな窓をこうしつらえることによっていろん同じ景色でも立ってみたり歩いてみたり座ってみたりした時にこう違うあたかも違う景色を見ているような<音楽>そういう光の美しさみたいなのを光をこう絞るというか。切るというかそういう行為をすることによってよりこうあの光を視覚化してでかつあの影を美しく見せることによってよりこう空間にこうリズムが出来上がっていって自分自身があまりこうパーッと明るい部屋が落ち着かないっていうところもあるんです
けどでそれがなんか松本らしさみたいなところにつながっているような気がしていてやっぱりこう。昔ながらの民家ってなんとなくこう奥の方が薄暗くてそういったあの脳裏に焼き付いた感,感覚というかあの空気感やっぱり昔の日本の建物って全部、まあ、あっても薄い。ガラスが入った木のフレームの差しというか縦具だったんで隙間風がすごくてでその内側に障子があることによって風を防いで断熱効果になっているっていうのが本来の使い方なんですけれどもに向かう時はもう生ですからあの趣味が道と生であのとてもこうバランスが自分自身にバランスが取れてますね精神的にも全てにおいて。設計期間中はずっとやり取りもしてるしそんなに密にやり取りもしたことなかったんでそういう意味ではこの家を建てることが、まあ、よりこう家族の,、ね、こうあの結束を強めてくれたというかそういう存在になってるのかもしれないですね。やはりいろいろあの考えてやってくれてますのでしっかりうちあの溶け込んであのなんか。そういうスペースがあるって思っただけでもあのとても心が和むっていうかいい場所になってます。The house h a v e to look like a cigarette, h a v e to look like a bunker. And people will look at the house at the first time. They may be curious what is this? It doesn't look like a house. But then, when you get into inside, it looks different from outside. The house, you see, is relaxed. I had a dream that when I want to build a house, it had to be a difference. It had to look simple, but look different. It's not that easy. The style is modern house, but it's not just the architect's approach. This house is a kind of engineering marvel. We have a lot of engineering approach. For example, no column. You need Engineer to calculate and decide very well. But the most interesting, I believe, that is a swimming pool upstairs. Can you believe that? What swimming pool is second floor and you still have a view in the first floor? It's not that easy. So it's not just architecture genius. I want to say it's engineering genius too that helped me to build this house. During afternoon time, it's very hot. So the idea you have to prevent the heat 
transfer inside the house. So even I start with two layer of brick, it's not enough. We import another layer that is steel layer outside as insulator. So the sun and the heat come to the house, it protects by the metal sheet. And inside is the air. It still feel not hot at all, very comfortable because of that material. Since the house looks like bunker, it's not that easy that the lights can go inside the house. So the idea that you need a courtyard, so that bring the light into the house. And not only the courtyard bring the light, you have a tree that you can feel you close to environment, you close to the nature. And I love the free space so you can look at everywhere and you see like it's a free space you cannot separate from inside and outside the house is built to match the living style of my family this house we live three generations we live together my dad and my mom i myself and my wife and our kid each of generation have our own space, but also we have a chair space that we can live together. This is the idea of the house. For myself and my wife, we love working. We need to have working room, big table. So a lot of document, and sometimes we need this room as a meeting room. So my wife and I myself, we share the room together. And for the third generation, our boy, he got his own room, the playroom. If you ask me which area I love most, I love uh, uh, library, that when I work, when I read books and enjoy my night time because I love reading. I'm a professor, so in my library you can find many kinds of books. I have engineering books, I have history books, I love art books, I love architecture books, so a lot of books over there, but not only just books. I also have some more collection. I love uh, Iron Man field, maybe 20 of them. So it makes uh, the library look vibrant and enjoy to work with, enjoy to study in size. The most important if you want to build your own house, it's not necessary to be luxury, to be big, but you have to make the house at your own home. You have to live well, and you have to live happily with your family, someone that you love. This is the most important, and this house they fulfill everything. The idea that the house blends into nature rather than having it stick out was an important aspect of the design process. And Iruma Ujan was meant to blend in and not be 
obstructive to anybody who's on the other side of the valley and looking onto this. We wanted it to feel like it's part of nature. Ruma Hujan means the house of rain, and there is something melancholic or something honest about it. And it rains a lot in Ubud, and the rain is beautiful. is slightly outside of Ubud. I think the idea is oftentimes um, there's a certain shyness maybe, there is um, a certain willingness not to scream and not to be too loud. I have an attraction to wood and a lot of the attraction of the architecture here in Bali is related because there's a lot of use of wood. It was these huge logs of ironwood that were used initially for that bridge and that had been dismantled. The actual process of making it happen was quite a lot more difficult. They were Balinese carpenters but had also acquired the knowledge of an American carpenter so they had a vast vocabulary in, in joinery making and tools. I had to learn from them how it is being made so that there was an exchange happening. Pillars that you're seeing, the part of the roof structure, so the hips, and there is single elements of over eight meters in there, which is quite unusual, of iron wood, which is a very precious wood. You will find that the dining table and the coffee table and possibly even the chopsticks in the drawers of the kitchen are made from that same iron wood. So we, we had that iron wood here on the property. I didn't want any of that wood to go to waste. A lot of these buildings that you see above at the back of the property are additions that happened in a more organic way. The houses up where the office is and where the residence is, these were existing buildings that we bought from Java. A lot of people use them here, they're called the Joglo. And so we used these buildings, transformed them and put them on the land. That cabin always remains the most precious one that we've lived in also because our son was born and then lived in there. This plant here is known locally as Sedap Malam. And uh, we planted this here for a very special occasion. There is a tradition here that when the first born child comes, that the placenta gets buried next to the entrance of the house. For us, it's very symbolic and a beautiful element of the property.
As I started getting more interested in badminton, I started analyzing the trajectory of the shuttlecock and I realized that it was creating this curve and that towards the edges of the court, you don't need the same height as in the center of the court. I approached Elora, who is the founder and owner of Ibuku. They're the specialist in bamboo on the island of Bali and probably worldwide. And she was like, yes, this is exactly what we'd love to do. And so that's when that collaboration started. Well, it's an incredible journey. It's a place where I founded my family and it's a place also that helped me develop as a professional and to grow as a professional. So it's an extension. Rumao Jan is an extension of myself. <laughs>